welcome to this episode of the On Deck channel. We do a lot of really complicated videos that I get to jump on and watch these guys install all these really wild setups on these big boats. But I wondered, what does it look like for a very simple three, uh, three solar panel arch setup with MPPT controllers and breaker disconnects and a davit lifting system? So that's what we're gonna check out this time on the On Deck channel. Okay, this is a Beneteau 46, and this is a good example of a very simple arch install and solar panel install. We installed a super arch, which is slightly larger diameter tubing, and we installed a dinghy lift kit so they can lift their tender off of the arch. And we also installed three solar panels. They're 480 watts each. And so it's a very simple system. Uh, Victron charge controllers, and that's charging the house bank. So uh, let's take a look at it. So the super arch, like I was saying, is just a slightly thicker diameter tubing. Um, to install the dinghy lift kit, what we do is we put a clutch right here. There's a turning block a little higher up, and then there's a lifting point that we can adjust for where the uh, bow and uh, stern lift points are on the tender. And there's just six to one tackle there. So it's actually super light. Like I can, I can lift the bow with one hand and I can lift the stern with two hands. So. Pretty simple, you can also put another block down at the base and bring it back to a winch if you're you know, hurt or uh, just not feeling particularly strong that day. It is a 25 horsepower on the back of that thing, so that's pretty heavy. So the three solar panels that are mounted on here, the wiring is all hidden um, inside of the arch leg and then comes out uh, at the transom. Um, so it's a nice clean install. These are bifacial panels. Uh, again, they're 480 watts each, so uh, very nice install. I really love the way it looks. Okay, so the uh, solar wires come out of the base of the arch right here in this leg, and then they go into this lazarette right here. So if we open this up, we'll see the solar power wires coming in here, and then all of the breakers and charge controllers are down in this locker. So the way we wire solar panels is, uh, first they come to a set of uh, circuit breakers, and these are what we call solar disconnects. These are switching both the positive and negative, so if you need to service the panel or the controller, you can safely turn them off here. So that's nice. It comes out of these breakers, then goes into the charge controllers. There's one charge controller for each panel. From the charge controller, it then goes to this set of breakers where only the positive wire is switched, and that way we can safely separate individual charge controllers from the house system. From those breakers, the positive wires then go to this positive bus bar. So this bus bar just has the uh, solar cables and there's a negative back here, perhaps a little bit out of your sight. From there, there's some large gauge cables that are carrying all of the current from the solar power back to the house system inside. In there, there's a large fuse to protect that wire. Um, so really everything is right here and it's just a nice, simple, clean install. The way that we do this to make it a lot easier for us is you can maybe make it out, but there's a PVC board behind all of the stuff. So all of the stuff was mounted and wired off of the boat. And the only wires we had to attach inside of the boat were the actual solar panel wires up here and the large gauge wires to run off to the house bank. We like the expanded PVC. It's pretty lightweight. It's very strong. It's also flame retardant. So um, these controllers do generate a good bit of heat. So of course it's important to use something that's self extinguishing like that. Um, it's very easy to work with. I mean, it's super easy to screw, uh, screw things into, and so that makes it really easy to work with. Uh, machines really well with all kinds of saws, so that's why we like to use it. Everything else was wired off the boat, which is a lot easier than being down in this tiny hole. And then it's bolted to the wall using weld mount studs that are epoxy to the wall. So really easy way of doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you would consider doing that. That really helps a small channel like ours. And we will see you guys next time on the On Deck Channel.